For many of us, that first cup of coffee is an essential morning ritual. But if you have a thyroid condition, could your favorite pick-me-up affect your thyroid health? First, let's talk about caffeine. It's a natural stimulant found in the seeds, nuts, and leaves of various plants, including coffee arabica, thea sinensis, cola, cacao, and others. You'll find caffeine in so many places, including coffee and coffee-flavored products, teas, yerba mate, chocolate, soda, energy drinks, protein bars, medications for PMS, headaches, and migraines, and as a common additive in many weight loss and energy supplements. Caffeine acts as a stimulant of the central nervous system. But how does it interact with your thyroid? If you have hyperthyroidism, caffeine may worsen your overactive thyroid symptoms like a racing and irregular heart rate, high blood pressure, feeling overheated, insomnia, and anxiety. For those with hypothyroidism, an underactive thyroid, you may find that caffeine helps temporarily improve some of the common symptoms, including a slowed metabolism, constipation, low heart rate, cold intolerance, fatigue, and brain fog. If you take thyroid medication for hypothyroidism, you know to take your medication around 60 minutes before your first meal of the day. This helps prevent food from interfering with the absorption of your thyroid medication. But, many people assume they can swallow their thyroid medication with their morning coffee. So here's something to watch out for, caffeine can interfere with how your thyroid medication is absorbed. Drinking coffee too soon after taking your medication might reduce its effectiveness. To get the most out of your thyroid medication, take it with water and wait at least an hour before enjoying your morning coffee. If absorption issues persist, ask your doctor about liquid or gel cap formulations like Tyrosint, or ask the doctor about taking your thyroid medication at night. Should you give up coffee and caffeine? There is no universal answer. Some people find that giving up caffeine after ongoing use can improve symptoms. Others may find moderate caffeine consumption helpful. In general, caffeine and coffee intake in moderate doses is unlikely to cause any adverse effects on your thyroid. If you do decide to stop caffeine, do it slowly and gradually. Otherwise, you may experience caffeine withdrawal symptoms like headaches, fatigue, and brain fog. So, is caffeine bad for your thyroid? The answer depends on you. For some, it may aggravate symptoms, for others, it might be a helpful boost. The key is moderation and timing. Ultimately, if you have a thyroid condition, it's important to find what works best for your body. Consult with your thyroid specialist, and remember, sometimes, it's not about giving up something you love, but instead, finding the right balance. This video has been brought to you by Paloma Health, the nation's leading medical practice dedicated to hypothyroidism care. Learn more at www.palomahealth.com.